All right, this is day three of me trying to learn old Seven Dust songs and not remembering most of it, but learning this stuff right in front of you guys. Um, I'm gonna only, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this today, and then I'll probably give it a rest because you guys are probably getting sick of it. I really enjoy it because, it, again, it's humbling uh, trying to learn it. This is by no <laughs> stretch of the imagination a master's class or or anything like that. Where I've uh, rehearsed this, I'm just kind of pulling the songs up. Today, I actually did something different. Um, well, first off, let me just say uh, I'd like to acknowledge September 11th, uh, the people we lost. The men and women who tragically passed away and the millions of people that have been affected by that. I just want to send my heart, uh, my my prayers and, and uh, just support to that. It's an important day. I even debated not even doing this today just to kind of pay respects, but I just wanted to get on there and acknowledge all the people, uh, just all of us, you know, surviving that New York City, beautiful city, amazing people. Uh, I just wanted to give my respects and have some fun today. Um, anyway, the song that I'm picking out today is Not Today off of Kill the Flaw. And it's one of my hands down, one of my favorite songs we've ever, we ever did. Mainly because I completely plagiarized Trent Reznor <laughs> in this song. I credit Trent Reznor as one of my favorite guitar players simply because he does incredibly underrated underlying uh, layers and all these different uh, sounds and, and developments he does with the guitar that no one really gives him credit for. I just think he's incredible in that way and things that he's done to manipulate it. So this song is kind of a tribute to that. I have the actual old demo that I pulled up also. This is my little setup if you guys want to check it out. This is what I work with. Um, today I'm running like Pro Tools, but I've been working in Logic a lot here lately. Um, I have the session, the demo pulled up. I have a little track here to kind of jam along. And I have the old demo, which is, I had to pull this up and like rediscover some of the plugins and everything, but, but it's really raw. Whoa, what is that? Oh, this is a completely different intro. Whoa. Building it up nice, huh? All right, let me isolate some of this stuff. So like here, let me see what I'm doing here. This will be easier today because I can actually hear and see what, what I was thinking and all this, but this is a super raw version. So this little underlining layer, Try to get back here. What's up, everybody? So obviously, I have a tremendous amount of delay on there. So let's see. All right, so let me pull my thing up. So I'm just kind of pedaling that. That's just for starters. Let's, I just wanted to show you the demo that I have pulled up to kind of refresh my memory a little bit instead of just sitting there trying to figure it out. Um, first off, uh, as always for guitar players, not today is um, the low string. Now this guitar, everyone always asks gauges, right? So this is not the right gauge for this song. I have, I have a baritone, but something of the input jack's messed up. I don't have my amazing guitar tech here, so I don't know how to fix that stuff. I'll be honest with you, I have no idea. I, have a, I change strings every six months. But the low string uh, is just G. And it's kind of, um, we just, you know, it's one of those things where I wanted to utilize a low tuning, but I, don't, I wanted the, the, the high tension on these others. So the others are, this is basically just an octave. That's G on the second, C, F, G, and C. So that's the, the tuning, just to give you an idea. See, it allows you to do 
one thing I loved about that was um, the voice, and you can kind of like create this octave without having an octave. So I do a lot of those things when I was younger. I didn't have effects. I didn't have all these tricks and ponies. So I would try to figure out stuff, how to do it. I would play by ear and, and think, oh man, they're doing this, when actually they had assistance for effects and different things like that. I had no idea. I was poor as hell, so I used whatever I had. So this is a version of that. <laughs> Anyway, that's the, the idea and the thinking of it when we did it. We did it a, a, a couple more songs later on. Actually, Home, I believe, was the first song we ever did in that, uh, you know, anyway, that tuning. Anyway, so I see someone now that those are uh, Arabic scales. Arabic scales, yeah, I love it. I love all that stuff, man. That, it's good to see you here. Hey, man, it's good to see everyone here. Um, this is really cool to kind of do this with you guys, but well, let's get to it real fast. I mean, this was going to go pretty quick, so I'm going to go back to the song so I can hear LJ rocking on it. So the beginning the intro, real fast. Listen to it. Oh, also, I'm sorry if I appear to be a left-handed guitar player. I'm definitely a right-handed guitar player. Okay, so that right there, real simple. I just do this thing where I have a little delay. Let's put like a more. Let's put a cooler delay on here. Um, I use, in Pro Tools, I use all kinds of different delays, but one of the ones I like a lot is the Echo Boy, Sound Toys. I, I keep a lot of these settings, kind of standard things that I just use. I pull up and it's quick. It's like, all right, cool, we're ready to rock. Uh, so yeah, I... I 
under on the second half of that verse, it kicks in. It's like I try to get really funky, kind of a little less, a little less gain. So I'll do that. It's not a little too too little gain. So. Parts are going on, so if I go back to the demo, you can hear it more like. So there's all three things going on. So that. And then the other one is that. That's kind of going in the back, and you hear all the little bass little runs and stuff. But that's essentially that third piece is that. that there's a little transition here let me hear this thing man whoa all right let me um isolate that and just loop it section in between there um, so like the actual song something different on the actual record. Sometimes when we do the demos, there's like a little refinement that happens when we're actually in the studio uh, doing it. Let me see where you guys are at. What's up, you guys? Hey, man, seeing some familiar faces. What's up, what's up, what's up? My wife's probably watching upstairs. My little kid, my little girl. She came down here yesterday to try to uh, scare me right when I ended the, the live stream, man. So. It was it a bit cute. She was she scared the hell out of me though. It would be funny. Oh okay. So anyway, um uh, where am I? Oh, the little pre thing is really cool. I was really proud of this little <laughs> Alright, so it's hard to hear because the vocals are pretty loud, but I like so is it. Then that's it. Um, let me try to play with that, man. Is that the, I don't know if it's right or not, but it seems, it seems like it's in the realm. Yeah, so that was that. 
Yeah, uh, so there's all kinds of different layers and there's like harmony stuff going on, but the, the main part is. So the first one. A little harmonic there. So. So it is. And then going into the chorus, and we utilize that low thing that. Let me make sure. <laughs> I don't know it. Come on, man, play. No more So that's uh, the main riff is. So um, that's the main riff, and then the, the kind of overdub layer is. fan of our band this right here all day long every song that we've ever done and ever will do this will try to make an appearance for those or you gotta make the face when you do it too anyway um trying to move all this like go from Pro Tools to there and I just dropped my pick and you ever notice when you drop a pick it rolls like 70 feet I don't even understand this little pick just roll like 10 feet it's just the laws of the universe man that's what I get for doing live stream anyway um, the bridge let me try to remember that Yeah, um, we kind of break it down. I, I wish I could read all this stuff, man. I'm trying to keep up. Can't. Uh, just cover the bridge real fast. <laughs> Screaming, uh, what am I saying? Something really mean. I ain't even that mad anymore. Oh yeah, I defeated the. I, I defeated it. We will become this. That was more of. Um, 
coming. That's in there somewhere. I gotta. Oh, yeah. Anyway, that's basically it. Um, I really love this song. Um, yeah, is that your signature model? All right, so for the people that keep asking, this is not my signature model. This is an actual reversal that they made custom for me after my signature model. Basically a few differences, uh, Paizo, Pizio, whatever that was. I, I actually wanted them to do like their version of a P22, but using the reverse colors of my signature model, which is black with the white trim, they reversed it. Um, and it's just a great guitar. I love this thing. Um, super cool, clean channel. I use a lot when we do like Angel Sun or Christmas Day or Skeleton Song. It's just got a really cool vibe. You can, I don't think I have an actual, um, I need a battery in here, but that's active pickup. Um, anyway, I love this thing. PRS has always been great to me. That's pretty much it. Let me see, um, I don't know how to, if I scroll up or scroll down, what's the most current questions, but you guys may have some. I appreciate the love, appreciate you coming on here, and I'm getting ready to call it up the weekend. Um, oh, there it is. Shotgun Soul. Kill the Flaw, man. That was um, a cool record to make. All these records, man. We're so lucky to be doing what we do still after all these years. I uh, hope you guys have a great weekend. Um, let's see, let me ask a couple questions. Oh, there is a proud owner of it. Ooh, Chop. Actually, Chop was one I was going to do today, but I didn't do it. Uh, I thought that this would be kind of cool just because it's cool. It's one of my favorites. Um, I'll probably pick up another one a couple of next week. The actual, when the live stream starts coming together and we start talking about the set list and stuff like that, I'm actually going to start playing some songs, but I don't want to give away the set list because it's going to be a pretty special uh, set list. But that's why some of these could be or maybe not on the actual live stream that we do. We'll see. So I'm not going to give any secrets away. Thank you so much uh, for letting me kind of get vulnerable in here and just kind of show you what I do, man. This is really, uh, I take this as a true uh, privilege to be able to do this and play guitar and write songs and, uh, you know, and then being home with my family, man, it's, it's, a, it's a big deal. But, man, I, I can't wait for y'all to hear the new record, man. I'm super excited about it. Um, yeah, I see someone say some dark new day. I might do that too, man. I might do some of the song, my solo stuff, but I just want to give some respect to Seven Us for a while. Um, it's been kind of shut down for a bit. So now that that's reopening, I want to make sure that we, uh, you know, start revving those engines back up, man. Excited to see everybody. I'm going to go chill out actually i'm gonna go write some i gotta write an intro for the seven dust live show so that would be kind of cool i should let y'all watch me do that that's pretty boring but it's actually kind of cool when it comes together anyway man much love you guys and i am out and i'll see you next week sometime all right so you can watch me hack through some of these songs man bye you guys